there. Today we're going to be talking about quadratic inequality. So this is part of the P1 math syllabus and this is the fifth video. We've talked about linear inequalities and what they are. So today we're going to get into the idea of solving quadratic inequalities. So we know what quadratic equations are. So an inequality, of course, is one that just has one of these symbols in it. Okay, so we're solving those things there and particularly those with uh, quadratic equations. Easiest way to do this, drawing a graph. Okay, so um, for example, if I want to solve this quadratic equation here, x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0, that's easy because I can see just by looking at the graphs, the answers to that is 2 and negative 4. They're the roots of that equation. But what about if we want to solve this question here, which is when is this thing here less than 0? So what are the values of x such that x squared plus 2x minus 8 is less than 0? Looking at the graph, we can see that that's in this blue section here. All of these values here mean uh, x values where this thing here is less than zero. So it's really where the y value is less than zero. So we'd write it like this. So all of the x values between negative four and two. If the question was changed so that we wanted to know what are the x values, so this is greater than zero. In other words, what parts of the graph are above the y-axis? then it would be this part here and this part here. Let me write that a little bit differently. We'd say x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than 2. So that's in two parts there, whereas this one up here was just in one part. Draw a sketch. That's the biggest clue here. If you draw a sketch, uh, it makes this really, really easy to answer these questions. So here's my first example. Solve x squared minus 3x is less than or equal to 0. So my answer I'm going to have a less than or equal to. In the last question we had just a less than or a greater than sign. So um, let's draw a sketch of this first. If I was to draw y equals uh, x squared minus 3x, the easiest way to do this would be to factorise. So we have x brackets x minus 3. So I could see that the roots of this equation are going to be 0 there and 3. So this is a quadratic, it's going to be concave up, it's going through 0 and negative 3, so I mean this is just really a rough sketch here, you know, I'm not drawing it exactly, that's what it's going to look like, something like that, and I certainly haven't got exactly how far down it's going. That's, that's the basic idea. So in this one here we want to know what are the parts where it's less than or equal to 0, so we're looking for this part down here, okay, the part that is below the axis. So I can see, looking at it like that, that all of the x values between 0 and 3, and including 0 and 3, will satisfy this quadratic inequality. This one here, we're going to uh, try and draw this thing here. So we want to draw y equals 2 plus x minus x squared. Okay, so let's uh, let's try and factorise that then. We're going to have an x and an x in here. One's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Uh, it's going to be 2 and 1, and we want the middle term to be plus 1. So I think it's going to be this. Let's just check. 2 minus x plus 2x minus x squared. Yep, looks good. So if we wanted to draw this thing, I can see the roots are going to be negative 1 and positive 2. Okay, just looking at these two. The two values of x that make those brackets zero. And because we've got a negative in front of the x squared term, we know it's going to be concave down. We could also read off the y-intercept when x is zero, y is going to be two, so it's also going to be going through two here. So it's going to be doing something like this. We do it a very rough sketch. And again, I now want to know when is that what are the x values so that this is less than zero? So when is it below the x-axis? We're talking about this bit here. And this bit here. All right, those two bits there. So what are the x values there? Just looking at the graph, all of the x values that are less than negative 1 or all of the x values that are greater than 2. And I'm just reading that off the graph. Notice I've used less than here uh, and greater than here because that's the, uh, the sign, the inequality sign used in the question. So it's not less than or equal to, just less than and greater than in this case. Uh, 